certainly for outdoor type stadiums, if they're going to have a track uh, meets at this uh, facility, I certainly want to think about what kind of uh, uh, experience they want for their athletes and their coaches and fans. Um, when we go with a, a matrix type scoreboard like this, we can put names of the competitors on. Uh, in addition, for our field events, if you have uh, shot put, discus, and those kind of uh, field events, these kind of displays really work well to get their names on there and the results. Many times uh, they're left out, it's just the running events that we uh, talk about. The other thing is it's a good sound system. At track meets, again, you have a lot of things going on. If you can have audio, think about that, how you're going to communicate to the folks in those applications where they're spread out, not only on the field, but maybe off-site a little bit for wherever your uh, discus is and your javelin, those kind of things are taking place. On the scoreboards, you want to entertain fans where uh, schools are seeing more challenges all the time with uh, keeping uh, fans coming to their facilities. Uh, maybe they want to watch a streaming video from at home. There's maybe not enough uh, compelling reason why to go there. So if there's going to be more entertainment value at the stadium, then you can get more people to come there, and that's what we want to see, more fans in the stadium. These large systems, too, is this, these days revenue is short. So what kind of advertising can you tie in to these programs that not only can pay for large uh, video screens, but also generate revenue for your programs? Revenue is going to continue to be a, an area, a challenge for schools going forward. Uh, not only now, but uh, in the future, we'll continue to hear issues there. So if you can think about how you can generate a program that can, uh, can generate revenue, that, that's something that you really want to take a look at.